In a small town down in Arkansas Where the river flows There's a man with a passion That everybody knows Howdy, howdy everybody Welcome to HT's EDC Coming at you this Sunday morning From the back patio Wood pile in my backdrop And oh, making her way Hey, hey, you're late you're late, Sid. You gonna tell the good people why you're late? Huh? Were you off chasing squirrels? Huh? We got a show to do. Huh? You supposed to be in your spot? Oh, don't. Look at this. Don't start kissing up now. Alright, well. It always works. How can you be, how can you be mad? How can you be mad at a face like that? Huh? Impossible. Let me help you can't do it at least I can so how is everybody doing hope you guys are doing well and had an awesome start to your Saturday uh, we had a cool time uh, yesterday uh, the family and when I say family there's six of us up here uh, three couples me my wife who I call my brother he's my best friend of, thir of almost 40 years we just call each other brothers. Technically, he's not my brother, uh, just my best friend. And my, our other co close friend, anyway, there's six of us. Three couples of husband and wife, and we do everything up here together. So yesterday, we all went down and we called that we were gonna go to a balloon festival uh, down in Shreveport, Louisiana. That's about two hours from home here, here in Southern Arkansas. And we actually did go, technically, to the Balloon Festival, and we looked around and all for a while, but we got there, it was burning up hot, and we come to find out the balloon part of it wasn't going to be for like another two, two and a half hours. We kind of looked around all their arts and crafts and, and whatnot, and uh, okay, it's, you know, when when's the balloons? Well, the balloons weren't, like I say, balloons weren't for two more hours. It's 90 something degrees. And uh, the big guy, and luckily some of the others, had done got, done got hangry walking around. And so we, uh, we blew that popsicle stand and uh, we, went, we went out to a nice restaurant down there that we had never ate at before. Shout out to Silver Star, I believe it is Silver Star steak and barbecue or barbecue and steakhouse there in Bossier City it was top-notch had me some killer uh, barbecue ribs and uh, the, the guys my brother he got a steak said it was killer but we had a good time there but anyway uh, while we were down there in Shreveport uh, the girls kind of you know we took two different cars and the girls rode together and the guys rode together on the way down or we could chop it up and the girls went and did a little shopping well the guys went shopping and we went and hit a couple of pawn shops and I got a score yes I did and brother Terry I'm hoping you give me a little grace because I found this stockman it's gonna be a stockman you've already seen the thumbnail I found this stockman on Saturday, so I'm gonna say I'm a day late. I know I'm a day late and a dollar short here. This is Sunday, but I'm gonna hope Brother Terry lets me slide this slide this under the radar in on Saturday stockman stampede. But just a day late, I found it and I bought it on Saturday. That should get me somewhere, right, Terry? That get me is that get me a little wiggle room, and I am participating so. Anyway, we're going to call this uh, Saturday Stockman Stampede, sort of, or sort of Saturday Stockman Stampede, because I did find this yesterday on a Saturday, and it, what I am talking about, is this right here. Check her out, folks. Oh, yeah. Good old Uncle Henry, full-size Stockman has the nice Stagalon covers. And folks, this thing, 
is almost, uh, if it had been used before, it was sparingly. Uh, yes, I have taken this home and shined up these, uh, these bolsters and some of the brass on it. Touched up, you know, polished up the bolsters a little. But folks, it did not look like, like, it did not look far off from this sitting there in the case in the store. Uh, I have not had to do very much to this whatsoever. Uh, I think it's awesome. You guys know uh, me and Dwayne, uh, we are Shrade slash Old Timer slash Uncle Henry. All the Shrade Mothership uh, brands, uh, USA stuff, we love them. Uh, you've heard me talk about the 77 OT Muskrat as being one of my all-time favorite knives and stuff like this. Oh yeah, this is the 885 UH for Uncle Henry. And let's see, go ahead and close these two blades. Can you guys see that right there? Shrade Plus. USA, what else on here? Shrade Plus USA 885 UH, if that'll focus. But if it did not, that is what it says. This is uh, stainless steel, the Shrade Plus. That is a moniker depicting stainless steel. But folks, I mean, just look at this cool, aggressive, I just love this uh, clip point blade. How aggressive a slope they uh, this is chopped off here in the front has the nice long nail nick here on the main blade has the nice uh, Uncle Henry shield I don't know exactly what they call that do they call that the bomb shield or the corset shield I don't know looks pretty good I like it and folks it is like I said this thing is just like untouched and uh, they had this thing, I'll tell you the price, I will. They had this thing sitting in there for $40. Uh, and honestly, I think it's worth $40. I probably, uh, yeah, I probably would have picked it up at $40. And uh, one in this condition, uh, Trade USA, and as clean as this was, that was a fair price uh, at 40 but of course it's a pawn shop what do you do you were supposed to negotiate we did a little negotiation and I was able to get this knife 25% off of that down to $30 plus tax I think I went out the door with this for like 32 it was under $33 32 78 88 something like that it was a little bit south of $33 for a virtually brand new full size USA made Uncle Henry Stockman. And folks, I love it. I know to show you this in my left hand, but right there, and I am not all the way up on that choil yet. If I do, there is getting all the way up on that choil. As you can see, I have that full bolster out the back no problem and if I come back here off of it still no problem I am on this knife good purchase on this four finger grip I love it I absolutely love it let's show you uh, some of these other blades you guys all know the blades these are standard blades uh, on a stockman but uh, we will give you a look at them nevertheless as I fumble with them course we have a nice sheep's foot right here and a nice spay blade and uh, let's check these out one by one see what we got here check out the snap on the little spay mm, very nice do that again very good how about closing Nice and strong. 
sheep's foot. We'll check it out. If I can get it open. Good pop. Very good pop. And good snap. Get out the old main blade here. Very good. And Very good. Every one of them, uh, I have, of course, done my little trick uh, that I do on most any, almost all knives, uh, is I'll take it to the sink when I get them, take my toothbrush, some Dawn Power Wash, and I just go over all the action, all the, uh, all the blade channels around the pivot, clean it out, wash it out thoroughly, get all any kind of grease or gunk or grime that could be down in the action of the knife, get it all out of there, dry it off good, and then I come back and I rejoint, I re-oil all the joints. And uh, this, thing, this thing has snapped for days. I mean, it should. It's basically brand new. And uh, yeah, I love it, folks. The uh, Uncle Henry 885 UH, the UH is for Uncle Henry, uh, but yeah, and the uh, good old Stagalon, uh, which is a Delrin, Stagalon faux stag handles, which folks, honestly, they do a really good job. If you can see these transitions from bolster into these uh, Stagalon handles, they're done really nice. The jigging on them, they're well jigged. Of course, it is not bone, it is not antler, not even close, but it is uh, the look, you know, they went for the look of it in a synthetic, and there is nothing wrong with the folks with a good Delrin or a good Stagalon. It is hardy, it will hold up. I have, this old boy has no problem with it. Uh, don't get me wrong, and HT saying you like Stagalon and synthetics over bone and sta real stag? Come on, absolutely not. But what I'm saying is, I have no problem with them either. Uh, do I, I, I like them all. I like, uh, I like them. This has a place uh, in my collection. The Stagalons, the Delrin, like the, uh, the old timer saw cut Delrin. I love it. I love that stuff. You can't kill it. Uh, if it gets wet, if it gets sticky, uh, heat, uh, nothing nothing gets to this stuff. It is very hardy and it is a good cover material for a pocket knife. Uh, they have been using this and making stuff in this uh, cover material for decades and there's a reason why. It holds up. And there's no telling. I mean, this looks, like I say, this looks brand new. This is not brand new. Uh, Schrade closed their doors in 2004. So, I have no idea how old this is, but this is at least pushing on somewhere probably 20 years old. Could be 30, could be 40. Uh, but it is just a testament uh, of how these knives hold up. Um, I love them. Me and Dwayne, like I say, we, we are softies for shrades, old timers, and Uncle Henry's. Just something about them. It's what dad, uh, dad and grandpa, uh, they carried, I think that's their logo, what, what, what grandpa carried or what, you guys can help me out in that, but on the boxes, uh, I think it says something like, like grandpa used to carry or something. Anyway, I'm butchering that, I'm sure, but it's, they even tap into the history, uh, in their, in their jargon, in their slogan, like grandpa used to carry. And yeah. They sure did. There is a ton of people that came up and carried these Uncle Henry's, these old timers. Why? Because you can't kill them and they're fantastic pocket knives. They hold an edge, in my opinion, very well. Uh, they just work. <laughs> you pull them out and they just cut stuff and they hold up for years and decades, like for decades. And uh, 30 bucks, I was tickled purple uh, to find it yesterday. 
and uh, made the little trip down to Shreveport. We didn't see a balloon yesterday uh, when we called we were going to, to a balloon festival, but we did eat good and I did find a pocket knife, so winner, winner, steak dinner. So real quick before I let you go, I'll do a quick pocket check, just show you what I am carrying today. And it is none other than a case smooth white bone canoe. And folks, if you can tell if this uh, sun will get me any kind of help there, we are snoz buried. Look at there. We have the snoz berries on this to the nines. I have been cutting my morning strawberries and fruit in the morning. And this thing has just got a wicked myriad of colors on this thing. You got some blues, some purples, uh, all kind of stuff as Abby uh, wants to come in and get some loving here. You want another cameo? Hey, you want another cameo? You want to say hello to the people? You were late. You were late to the show. I think you're just kissing up. <laughs> but anyway, she's feeling good. And, uh, yeah, that is what we're carrying today. Good old case, carbon steel, obviously. Smooth white bone canoe. That is going to be our Sunday carry today. And, uh, Brother Terry, I hope you let me slide under the fence. I found a stockman. I got it on Saturday. I just couldn't quite get my video out. Time we got home last night, it was seriously late. Uh, maybe you'll get me a little grace, but I did want to rep and support your open tag Saturday stockman stampede HT's got a new stockman. He is over the moon about it You guys like it. I love it and we're gonna get out of here. We'll see you on the next time For Abby, I'm HT and we are out